and we are newborn photographers, as well as we have an Etsy store called Props by Posies, where we sell newborn clothes and props for newborn photographers and vendors. <laughs> uh, we sell patterns that make um, these these clothes. Um, we have several patterns on our Etsy shop, um, but we're going to start sharing a few um, free downloads um, for the more simple patterns. And um, these are really patterns that are for beginners. So if you're a beginner and you haven't sewn, but you have a sewing machine, it's for you. So there, it's very simple. Um, we're not professional seamstresses, but it's just what works for us. And you get very detailed instructions. You'll love it. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, there will be a link down below where you can link right to our Etsy shop and also where you can download um, some free uh, tutorials, patterns and tutorials. So be sure to check back frequently and see what we've got going on. Bye. Hi, I'm Janine and my daughter Jessica and I are gonna do a video today on um, how to, uh, what to look for when you're thrift shopping to um, get the best finds to, uh, for upcycling newborn prop. Um, clothing. So some of the things that we make, um, if you aren't familiar with us, th this, these are the kinds of things that I'm going to be talking about um, today. Um, we do like pants, we do, this is our, our newest little pattern, um, our skirt romper. It's called the June J-O-O-N skirt romper that's on our site. Um, and then this little, um, it's called our Adeline um, one, one, uh, romper. And this one's a Christmas one, so it's a little bit more elaborate than what we usually do. Usually we just do them just out of lace and um, things that we find. So when we're talking about these, here's a little bonnet. We do these kinds of bonnets. Um, so when we're talking about these uh, thrift finds that we have um, that we just went shopping for not too long ago, um, we're talking about these kinds of outfits for newborn props. So I'm going to push those aside and we're going to do, we're going to come up and show you some of these things that we have found. Um, we're getting kind of excited about Christmas. So these are a few of these things. First few things are Christmassy materials. So this is something that you'd want to look for. This was $3. We get our things at um, a thrift store called Deseret Industries. And it's a local thrift shop. And it's a great one, we have to say. They have some of the great brands. Yeah. Um, we were noticing that all of these shirts are name brand and they're just really nice quality. So so we usually pay around $3 every once in a while. If it's a great fabric and we really want it, we can get more than just one thing out of it. We'll pay $5. But usually it's 2 3 2 and $3 that we pay. So with that being said, um, we just want to point out a few things to look for. Um, so we're going to just grab the things that we found and why we, why we picked them and what you can do with them. So this little... Um, this is just a little skirt. Let's turn it this way so you can see it a little bit better. It's just like a, I don't know, teenage skirt. I don't even know. It's Forever 21. It's a, a small. So with this, we're thinking, this is a lace. I don't know if you can tell. It's a, and it's aligned. So it's got two layers. This is one thing that's really nice to look for is two layers of things because then you can use the inside layer for something and the outside layer for something. This in particular... Probably wouldn't use that probably, very much. Yeah, we probably wouldn't use... This would be... Yeah, not, it's, it's a polyester and it has a little sheen to it. We don't really care for the, the things that have a lot of sheen to them. So I don't know that we would use that. But many times, as you'll see later on, they have a cotton lining that you can use as well. So you kind of get double um, for your money. So this is what I would do with this. If We would probably make um, one of these little Adeline rompers probably out of it. Or you could even do the pants, the cute little pants. Um, and it has ruffles. I don't know if you can tell really well there. But if you can get up close on this, um, this would be great for a bonnet as well, like this bonnet. It's almost it's really similar. So I like to use the edges. So I would cut really closely along this line right here, and then you'll have that ruffle right next to the face. And that would be a really cute bonnet. So you could do a bonnet and pants, or you could just do the, the Adeline outfit, the little long sleeve romper, whatever. Um, another Christmas... Go ahead. This is another one that we really enjoyed for Christmas. Um, we were thinking of doing either some pants or um, an Adeline again or just something simple. It's really nice. It's not too sheer. It has a really good stretch to it. It's really nice condition. It doesn't have any um, balling up on the That's one thing you really layer. want to pay attention to is you don't want these items to look like they've been used for you know yeah. 10 years. You want them to look fresh and, and new. This looks really really good yeah so brand new. another thing I didn't say is usually when we when we do get fines 
um, from thrift stores, we wash first just because we don't know, um, you know, what it's, where it's come from. So we wash. This is one we've already used a little bit for something, but I wanted to point out on this one that this is great. If you look at the back, this would make a great, um, even boys, um, like romper, onesie romper, because it's got the two different fabrics. It's got texture to it, and it's got, so this could be the top of the romper, and this could be the bottom. So you could set your pattern just right, you know, this way, and use this for, Variation or you could you could cut you know, you can cut it so that this is just a, a panel um, mm -hmm. A bib right. if you wanted to thing. so you could do that as so well the pants in the top of the bib and then around the right top, around the neck. Or you could do pants and pockets out of this or you can yeah. I mean there's so many we get a little excited when we talk about thrift finds because there's so many things that you can do um, This I love I just want to show you this because this has I always look for skirt things so because that's kind of, I love skirts on the newborns so this already has the skirt basically made for you it's already gathered it already has a little ruffle here so if you needed to you could cut right here if it's too long which this looks probably a little longer than maybe we would like so I would probably come down here cut it off right there and then sew a little elastic in there but what a cute skirt it's got um, two layers of ruffle right there and that's just so cute um, also, you could take, I just want to point this out too, you could take this little band that's, that's gathered already, you can cut it right here, put three buttons on it, and use it like a, a bib down the middle of a little, mm -hmm. of a little um, onesie, Shoot, romper, or yeah. whatever. Um, you can use them for cute pockets. Look how cute that pocket would look. I mean, there's just a thousand ideas. This stretch right here, you could use on the top of a, of a romper or on... Um, It'd be even a cute pocket because it's got texture to it. Anything with texture is fabulous. Um, this is another Christmas one. We're not sure. We got this a little while ago, and we're not sure what um, we're going to do with this. Probably, I would guess, it's going to be an Adeline. Another thing you want to look for is um, dresses because there's so much fabric. Like if we did the Adeline pattern on here, we could get probably three or four out of one you know, thing. And then, of this course... This was more expensive. It was $10 that we paid This was $10, for. yeah. Probably because it's a lot. And we don't... We hardly ever spend that much, but we loved this lace for Christmas. Thought it would be great because it's got a little gold to it, gold in it. So, um, we're going to use that for our Christmas little stash that we're going to do. Okay. Chiffon. All right. So, another thing that we like to look for is um, shirts with chiffon. These are really popular or, or were really popular a few years ago. I mean, yeah. they're still out there. Um... And but this is a chiffon type material. We use this for straps. Um, yeah, straps on our like Jenna, our Jenna pattern that we have um, that go over the shoulders. Um, we also use it. We uh, use it for headbands for the flowers oh, of headbands. Um, you could cut thin strips and use it for bonnet straps. Bonnet straps. Yes, we use it. We hardly ever buy chiffon. Someone had just asked me recently where we get our chiffon from. We we usually get it from the thrift store in shirts like this. We cut it into strips and kind of pull it apart and it frays really nicely. And then we kind of like that shabby look of it. Just you know, someone had also asked that same question. The same person said, "Does it um, does it fray?" Yeah, it kind of does a little bit, but we like that yeah. that look. This also has really um, cute buttons too that you could use on something. Yep. We look for things with nice buttons and. I wanted to show them another one that had chiffon on the back. You have like a. Uh, so sometimes you'll have. Um, well, this one will be. This one will, is going to be really cute too. This is a. This is a really nice shirt. This Abercrombie is and Fitch. Abercrombie and Fitch that we found. <laughs> I might steal it out of our stash and wear it. <laughs> um, this has the dar most darling lace. That would be the cutest. Anything you could do pants, you could do the Adeline romper, you has could do a tad of stretch too. Whatever it has quite a bit of stretch this way, which which is what you want, and not a ton this way, which is perfect. Um, and then it's got also the chiffon. So look how cute that could be with this being a, a romper and this being the straps around it. Yeah. So super cute. Um, I think is what we'll do too is make a few of these and then do another video and show you what we've what we've come up with so maybe we'll do a part two to this video mm -hmm. um, so this this one right here we'd probably make like a June romper so our skirt romper out of it um, just this one so it's just, this itself is kind of like a thermal 
Yeah, like And then um, it has just a cute print on it. So usually when things are really busy with a lot of print, we do something smaller. So More we simple. either do a pair of pants or we, or you can even use it for pockets because yeah. that's a cute, um, what do you call it, accent to some plain, yeah, exactly. plain pants. You still have you know, a cute little yeah. pocket there too. We just so. like more simple. And we obviously wouldn't use these. These are kind of ucky and look to use, but I mean, we won't use that. So the rest of it, it looks in looks great fabulous. condition. I think that just needs a wash. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some good one for her. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, you tell me. So this one is just a really nice, um, this caught my eye. It's really nice sweatery material. It's not too thick. I don't, um, I prefer them not to be really thick um, just because it makes it bulky. Um, this one's nice. It has really good stretch to it both ways, and it's in great condition. It has this texture up at the top, too, for an added little detail. It even has a little pucker if you want to do something to incorporate both of those. Or you could just do a simple pants um, for, like, a boy or something. Yeah. Which is great about this one is it's it can be girl or boy, yeah. which we love those we kinds of that. So it has a lot of material on it. It's kind of meant to be more of a flowy shirt, I guess. So it has a lot of material on it. So that's a really good one that I we love to look. We love to find um, like larger sizes, three X, you know, type shirts yeah. um, and dresses because that's a lot of fabric and it's usually the same price. So you get a lot more fabric. For so like them. this one, we'd only get one outfit and maybe a few. Yeah, maybe we could do like two pairs of pants out of this, or we could do one good um, romper and then and then use like we we keep scraps like crazy because we use them for pockets and we, <laughs> we use keep them for headbands and we use them for. So we would probably do um, like two pairs of pants out of this, and then we would use the extra to throw on a headband underneath as layering. Yeah, uh, just to pull in those same colors. So I yeah, see, I would super layer both cute. of those together for like yeah, a, a headband, headband or something. Um, and again, this is for our Christmas um, collection yeah. that we're working on. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> this is a great one because, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a jacket. It's a, like a I don't know what it is. Is that what you call it? A jacket? I think so. <laughs> and um, it has chiffon on it, and it has. Um, it's a it's a knit, a stretch knit. What we loved about this, I'm sorry, <clears throat> my voice is going out. Um, what we loved about this is this darning pattern. It's subtle. It's not it's not crazy bright. Um, love that. And then the chiffon we can use. Also, what it's I want to say, style of chiffon, but yeah, it, still it is. Work. Yep. What I love about this um, is that it's finished on the edge. And so you could totally use this for a skirt. You could cut right here. Hem it. You know. Um, hem it the waist down just a smidge like that and then you can attach some of um, cut this into a strip and then use it as a tie in the back of the skirt so the skirts already made for you so that's awesome um, things you want to watch for this I just noticed that I didn't notice at the stores it has a hole in it so you'll want to watch for that especially when you're cutting out because there's nothing worse than cutting out a pattern getting it made and then you notice there's a little tiny hole or something uh, it's happened before it's the worst so really pay attention when you're you can buying. limit how many things you can get out of it. Right, because you, you're going to have to place it where you can place it. Another thing is seams. You want to make sure that you mm -hmm. know, you know, um, that you, if you're looking for something very specific, like you're going to look at the thrift store for uh, one specific outfit, those are things you're going to really want to pay attention to are the seams because you, you're limited again to what you can use. Also, so like um, the pants too much yeah, that. let me grab that other one. I was going to mention that. This is on this shirt. A lot of times, if you see my other videos um, or tutorials, if you buy my pa <laughs> our patterns, we use this. We talk about this a lot. We usually use the bottom of a shirt um, for the uh, for the hem in the pants. Well, this shirt is it has a longer back than it does a front. So that's something to take into consideration. That wouldn't work that's for the pants, and you can't really pull it down because this is a rounded, so your the hem of your pants would be kind of janky. So <laughs> here's an example of one that you can use it. You know, okay, so if we're doing pants on this, this these are the same length, and so you just line these up, and this becomes the hem of your little of your pants. So pattern, you know, you you can use it like this, so it's already hemmed. Like these pants, I had to hem. So with this, it just deletes that step, and I love it. It's like cheating, and it, you, it's a step you don't have to do. So just know that when you, you know, if you have a shirt like this that has the longer back, you're not going to really be able to do that unless you, you know, you could do maybe one pair this way. But this is rounded, and so you're not going to get another pair 
with the back because it's rounded if you you know fold it in half. Hope that makes sense. Okay, another thing we like to look for is, I love I love this lately, is shirts that have double layers. So I don't know if you can tell, this is a top layer of lace, and then the bottom layer is just a knit, a stretchy, I think it's rayon actually, but sometimes you can find them in different Yeah, and this shirts. is actually, both of those are on the front. So you have the front has that, and then the back has that as well. So it's getting, it's two for one. one. <laughs> it's awesome. So you can use, we'll use them together sometimes, which we'd probably do for this maybe, is do the front in the lace and the back would have this rayon right here and the other thing is this is like new because it was covered with lace so it's so you have no balling on no, it it's like it's brand super new. great condition and I and I think this find. is really cute with the gray behind it so you could even do you know if you didn't want to use uh, yeah exactly. you know both you could do the you could use it and, and do the wrapper also with so this yeah so because I love that the gray behind it I think it looks good so you could do so either. here's the next one I love this one because I love the color I love the texture. It's all about texture. So whatever you can find that has a lot of texture is awesome. So this Great one stretchy -wise. has awesome texture. Stretchy this way, stretchy this way. Um, the great thing about this, it's got cute buttons. So you can use those buttons later. This again, if you're looking for a cute skirt, romper, bottom part, look at this. If you imagine, I've lost my romper somewhere. If you imagine the little uh, skirt romper, this being the bottom of it, and then this being the top, so here you go. So that would be the bottom, all you have to do is just, and that, that part's all done for you, so cute. And then the back of this, uh, the, the romper just has just the back. So the back side would be just be just the little skirt part, and it's just so cute, it's I so, oh, I can't wait to make it, I wanna make that right now. <laughs> Here is okay, here's another deal. I'm gonna do for Christmas. Yeah, outfits. now I don't know if you can tell, but this does not seem to go with this very well. We don't think. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. So um, this one, we can do just use this for a romper, just the, just the lace. But you can also use this for maybe um, the bottom of a, of a skirt romper, you know, or something like that where you just, it would add, if you had a material that really went with that, it would be adorable. I don't like it with this. I don't know why they picked it to yeah. go with this material. I don't know if it changed much. colors or what. This is another great thing. This lace that's on the, this is on the sleeve. Anytime you have cute little lace like that, this can be used on as a newborn sleeve. Just as you can, you can kind of see it right here. That that it could be a little cap sleeve, or it can be a little sleeve. You can also find some um, shirts that already have the elastic um, in it, like this that I think is super cute. So this elastic, you can make the little sleeve out of this, and this is already done for you. That's the whole greatness of it is that you have pieces and parts of the shirts that that make the outfit for you, so you don't have to do it. It's awesome. So that make, would make a darling little sleeve. This also has these. This that's okay, has this um, ruffle around the around the neckline. You can take this already used ruffle. This can be used on a romper as well, or on the bum of pants. If you wanted to use that on the bum of some pants, you got the little ruffle already done for you. So you can get many things out of each item. There's one where you could do a skirt that's already made for you. It's cinched around the waist, and it's. You could do already has the elastic. two or three things that we can make out of that. It's awesome. And we would probably use this. This is really cute uh, lace. We'd probably use that for a romper as well, like a, the Adeline romper or Jenna or something. Super cute. All right. And this is, I love this. <laughs> I love this color. This is a lace that doesn't stretch a whole lot. So um, this is one that I probably would use for the skirt romper just because you don't have to have a lot of stretch for the skirt romper. But... Um, you could also do it, you could also do the, and this has the darling edge, so that could be your skirt edge. You can also use it, um, as Jessica was saying earlier, um, that it's got the double layer. So you can use it for, you can just do the lace. You can cut the, you know, you'd have to cut the side so that you're using, oh my goodness, I'm lost in here. Um, so you would just um, cut it so that you can use just the lace. So the lace is see-through. You can do that as the front of the romper. And then you can use this awesome stretching, stretchy knit for, um, that's on the back for the back of the romper. We've done some like that before where it doesn't really stretch that much in the front. It has a slightest, but not, it's forgiving, but it's not. And then if you did stretchy. the long sleeves, um, like the Adeline pattern, Look, you have the end of your sleeve right there, so you don't have to hem it. You have this darling little 
lace that's already there for you. And it even has a little bit of the stretch. So I'm totally excited to use that for, um, for a shirt. I would never take the time to do a little gathered, um, gathered arm. But if it's there for you already, heck yeah. So cute. And this for the, the trim right around the hands. So cute. Okay, so we do we want to talk uh, about things that we don't yeah, have for? Yeah. Okay, so this is something that we, this is an example of something. It, this has no stretch. No stretch at all. It's a little th on the thick one. Well, it's a little it, stiffer, I, I guess. Not it. thick necessarily, but it's a little stiffer. But once again, the reason we bought this wasn't for an outfit. It was just for um, like pockets um, to use on like boys' pants. Um, it's a little harder to find the boys, as you can tell. We haven't talked much about <laughs> boy outfits. Yeah. So but then we could do a pant a great out pattern. of this knit and then add a pocket out of that. Yes. Because those go quite well. But just keep in mind that you want things that are going to stretch. Yeah. And, and you wouldn't want to pay too much for this if you're just using it for little pockets. So just... Exactly. Know that. And so then, this is, we love sweaters to use them for things. This one we've obviously used for different things already, but we wouldn't want to make a full outfit out of it. That's just preference for us. It has a texture of stretching. I actually cut one out and started to yeah, make it yeah. and I threw it away That's what because it was so that. bad. It just distorted when we were sewing it and it, it grew and it, stretched. Yeah. It was just weird. But we so, love, love the texture of it. I, I've, so, I've cut this out to use as a layer which I think is really cute because there's a lot of material. If you haven't already, you know, cut into it, you can have the whole body of it as yeah. a layer, which is awesome. So, and I just love, that's what um, struck us when we first saw it was it had so much cool texture to it, but I think it, it was a little bit too much, I guess. Yeah. So. Is there anything else that we, I think that, here's another good example of um, the chiffon, um, chiffon on the one side, lace on the other side. Chiffon. So it's double layer and it has front and back. So the great thing about this is if you want to do an outfit of this, out of this, you already have the coordinating chiffon for the straps. Awesome. Um, and then also here's another dress. So lots and lots of lace on this and it's so pretty, but we bought a dress that has lots and lots of, um, lots and lots of lace on it. This was $6 and we'll probably get, um, probably, I don't know, probably five, six things out of it. And this lace is stretch. This again is the polyester, so we probably stretch won't it. use. Um, it's not shiny though, so we would probably use that for something. Um, so anyway, um, so we're pretty much done, and um, we just wanted to go through and show you what we, the things that we that we like to look for with our thrift shop. When we start to do this, we get super duper excited, and and we want to just go to town. We buy a lot at one time, as you can see, but this will last us for a very long time. So um, I hope that you go out and find your thrift store finds and just look for fun textures and other accessories on the, on the shirts that you can use for many outfits. You can use buttons, you can use ruffles, you can use the sleeve elastic ruffle, you can use all, all parts of it. So don't cut something out and then throw it away. Use as much of it as you can because it, it makes your outfits unique and one of a kind. That's what's so great about upcycling is that most likely no one else is going to have something like it because it's so unique. It's just unique to that one individual fabric and shirt so or skirt or whatever it is you use. So happy thrift store shopping and we hope you enjoy it. Thank you.